Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com and here's your TIP daily for May 15th, 2013. Okay, so the first story of the day is that Apple hit 50 billion app downloads from the App Store today. Uh, the company started counting down to the 50 billion mark about two weeks ago on May 2nd and today uh, it finally hit that mark. The lucky 50 billionth downloader has not yet been named, but little does he or she know that they've won a $10,000 App Store gift card and Apple's also being super generous with the 50 billion mark and giving a $500 App Store gift card to the first 50 people after the 50 billionth download winner. Okay, moving on, even though Google is a rival of Apple in the mobile sphere, uh, the company held its IO conference today and announced a bunch of really cool things that are going to affect iOS as well as Android and the rest of the market. The first is that a new Google Maps for iOS is coming this summer. Google released its own Google Maps application for the iPhone and that was a huge success. Uh, now Google is ready to update that application even further to bring a bunch of really cool new features that users have been looking for, like deeper integration with Zagit and built-in offers and stuff like that, the ability for a navigation to reroute you if you run into like an accident or something like that and have to take a different route, and finally iPad support. Google also announced a new cross-platform Hangout application which would let you video chat or text chat from your iOS device to an Android device or even to a desktop computer. Google's built in a bunch of really cool things to make it super personal, like you're in the same room with the person you're chatting with. You can see everything they're doing. All of the conversations are saved if you want them to be. And unlike the updated Maps app, which is coming sometime this summer, uh, the Google Hangout application is available in the App Store now. And finally, Google announced a cross-platform Google Play service, which will let you uh, basically have real-time games from an iPhone to an Android device. Uh, you can save up in the air, you can save cross-platform on your own account so you can start a game on one device and finish it on another device. It basically seems like Apple's Game Center on like a cross-platform steroid kind of thing, which is definitely cool for gamers. Okay, well that's all the biggest news for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your question of the day today is, uh, what are your thoughts on this whole cross-platform integration thing? Uh, it's pretty cool that Google is playing so nice with iOS and building in so many features into iOS applications that can affect users across all different platforms. Uh, this is something that Apple doesn't usually do, so I'm pretty surprised to see it coming from Google, uh, but I'm happy as well. Do you think this sort of thing is going to change the way these companies interact with one another as far as the customers are concerned? Or is this Android versus iOS fight just going to go on forever regardless of what happens? Uh, you can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Of course, as always, the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below. And please don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com. I'll see you tomorrow.